Lightning never strikes the same place twice is an old saying that is actually not true. In nature, it happens quite often because of how lightning is attracted to metal and high locations. However, the expression, which seems to have originated in an 1860 book, is used metaphorically to indicate big things, usually bad but also good, only happen once. That too isn't always true. Today's Morning Minutes in the Bible on an American Missionary comes to an obscure passage in Hosea where God spoke of two exceptionally good events, lightning strike events, involving Abraham's grandson Jacob, who received God's promise just like his grandfather Abraham and father Isaac, Hosea 12 verses 3 through 6. Hosea introduced Jacob in verse 2, and then in verse 3 noted how at birth he grabbed his brother's heel, Genesis 25 verse 26. Then Hosea noted the two lightning strike moments in reverse chronological order. First was how as an adult, worried about facing his brother whom he had betrayed 20 years earlier, Jacob wrestled with an angel and won God's blessing by refusing to quit, leading to his new name, Israel, Genesis 32 verses 24 through 30 and Hosea 12 verses 3 and 4. The second was 20 years earlier when he fled his brother's wrath and had a vision of God on the mountaintop at Bethel that was sort of repeated after his return to the promised land. Genesis 28 verses 10 through 22, chapter 35 verses 1 through 15, and Hosea 12 verses 4 and 5. But here's where God throws the whole lightning never strikes the same place twice saying out the window by offering Israel, the nation descended from Jacob, their own lightning strike opportunity. Therefore, return to your God, observe kindness and justice, and wait for your God continually, Hosea 12, verse 6. Just like Jacob had returned to God and prevailed through pleading and waiting on him to answer, instead of trying to seize the blessing himself, God was offering to bless Israel the nation if they would plead with him and wait for him, instead of trying to seize prosperity for themselves through other means. His offer remains for you and me today. Will you return to God, observe kindness and justice, and wait for him for as long as it takes? Or will you try to seize his blessings through your own efforts or worldly means? The choice is yours. Choose wisely. Thank you for watching Morning Minutes in the Bible on An American Missionary. Until next time, this is James McClenny hoping you have a great day.